Hello viewer and welcome back to Games with Dialogue and my RPG Maker series. Currently I am working through the game that I've built just to check for broken pieces and anything that needs to be fixed or updated or what have you. I got stuck last episode on a series of switches and events, but I think I found a solution. So let's dive back in and keep going. Alright, so it looks like the best solution, the best solution is to split this into two separate maps. Something that I was trying to avoid doing, mostly because by the time you come back to Ulta Island for the Shrine of Faith, I wanted the map here, uh, what is it? Uh, not Tourist Trap, which one was the first village? Right, first village is going to be different and i was going to duplicate and create a separate map with some changes on it for this one and i didn't want to do the same thing twice but it looks like it looks like that option is the easiest thing to do just create a second map with a different town music and a different tint to it that does mean that I can get rid of some of these events that only open up when switches are turned on, which should help a little bit, I think. Uh, the problem is I have to go through and fix all of that. But the easiest thing to do is just copy and create a second one. I think, I think I'll just make it separate since all of these buildings go off of the restored or rescued version um yeah i'll just stick it there paste right 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 that's not how that works uh delete yes put it i oh i'll put it under world i guess yeah paste and we'll call it, uh, we have to change the name. So let's call it uh, Logging Hamlet Before and Logging Hamlet Rescued, I guess, is the best way to do that. Just so I know what I'm looking at. Okay, edit. Logging Hamlet Rescue. Okay. All right, and then simple enough. I, I need to close some of this stuff down so I can see what I'm doing. Close, 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 close. There we go. Okay. Because it is all the way down here. Um, let's go to edit again. Autoplay background music. We want sorrow. If I can find it. Ah, it's right there. And if I recall, I pitched it down to 80. There we go. All right. Battle back, we don't need. Battlegrounds, uh, uh, background sound, I don't think we need. There's certainly not anything that I want to have there. Tile set outside. Loop with the parallax. I don't see the tint, so what I'm going to have to do... Yeah, I'm just going to have to add the tint in up here and have that be sure but we don't need these switches now because it's a separate thing what i do need uh we'll cut and we don't need a second background playing there we go what i do need i'm gonna change the name ha ah, i keep getting distracted what i do need is a switch at the entrance that flips the map you're entering from the before time to the rescue time. Uh, Elden Vale tint? Yeah, Elden Vale tint, that's fine. All right, so I'll go back out to the world map here and play. Well, I guess I don't need the switch, do I? No, I just need to transfer the because the switch comes from defeating the troop, so it's just which map am I sending you to. So let's clear this out. Transfer player. 
Oh, no, I guess it would change depending on, wouldn't it? Yeah, okay. Yeah, all right. So, conditional branch, I think. If clear out is off, then you go, yep, create else branch. Then you'll go to, which one does that send me to? We'll have that one go to uh, paste. Right, we'll have that one go to the clear, the rescued. So we need transfer, transfer player to before. There we go. Uh, left and good. All right. If clear out is off, they'll go to the before map. And just to make sure that we're sending them to the right map, let's uh, click on this one and rescue. Yep. Okay. Cancel. Good. Good, 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 good. Cancel. All right. Fantastic. And it doesn't really matter the exit from town. They both go to the same place um, since the world map's not changing. So great. All right. Now I just have to go in and change all of this. Well, not on the rescue. Uh, on the before, I have to basically delete all of these events. And then on the rescue, change some of them so that I mean, they don't need, the events don't need to be there. Like this, this, uh, these doors here. I don't need this. It's locked tight on the rescue. I just need this one. So, oh, but I'm in the before map, aren't I? Wait, <sighs> move. Yes, I'm in the before map. So I don't need this one here. So delete. But I mean, that's basically what I have to do now is clean up these two maps, which I'm not going to do here. I can do it offline. All right, so that's done. Great. We can move on. I need to check if, because uh, I have forgotten, I need to check if uh, I, shoot first outpost, if I left the switch on here. I can't remember. I think I removed it, but control switch D, control switch C, Clear out on control A, which goes to a race event. Okay. All right, good. Um, and then we come back to logging Hamlet. I need to make sure that control switch clear out is off. Uh, yeah, we don't need that now, uh, but I do need to make sure rescue. Right. Okay, so this one, we get rid of this. Cut. We don't need, we actually don't need this switch. I actually don't need the switch at all now if I'm splitting it. Talk NPCs. I think that one I still need because there's another switch in town that works on it. So I'm just going to leave it here until I find where that is and then I can deal with it. Um, but I do need to go back to before and make sure... This is the one that, ah, oh, okay. That's the one that needs the clear out off, the sunset tint on, uh, sunset switch on. No, no, I don't need the switch. Right, right, I don't need the switch because there's nothing that's affecting it. Um, I need to make sure that clear out is off. For the before times, there we go. Tint screen, background music. Actually, I think I changed that already, right? Okay, I think I changed that already. Edit. Yes, sorrow. Okay. Uh, and then I need to go to... No, I don't need to do that. Right, because it's two separate maps. The switch isn't even being affected anymore. Right. Okay, cool. Uh, what else was I doing? I needed to... Right, 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 right. For the rescue, I need to make sure that... Um, that one switch... What was it called again? Talk NPC is off. Right, okay. This one over here is the one that... So when clear out comes on, she's here. Switch A. 
erase event, right. Make sure that that's no longer an issue after clear out A. But she doesn't have to be there for before. Cut. There we go. Uh, I'm getting distracted now. I'm doing what I said I was going to do off. Yeah, and he doesn't need to be here for Crystal Restore either. Um, so we'll just delete that. There we go. Right, Crystal Restore. Right. No, nah, it's fine. It's fine. The uh, Let me come back here to the world map. Yeah. Yeah, I don't need... Once clear off, uh, once clear out is on, I don't have to worry because they're going back to the same map either way. It's just that once the crystal restore is done, once they go into the forest and get to the battle shrine and restore the battle crystal, they'll be coming back to logging hamlet slash rescue. So any events that are different between the time period where they rescue all of the townsfolk and go to the battle shrine needs to have events set up so that's why i have this still waiting here this event here triggers after they come into the inn and go through this event talking to the elder of the town so really it's i just need to work on this thing here uh yeah this this event's not complete oh <laughs> i made myself a note and i just stuck this event here to come back to it later and then i completely just blew past it um well that's what testing is for i guess but i mean that's what notes are for also and i kind of just overlooked my notes anyways yeah, uh, so I can split this into two separate things um, for the two different maps, uh, Rescue and Before. And basically this event that comes in this in can be split as well. I suppose the easiest thing to do would be to make two inns and two stores and stick one under Rescue or keep one under Rescue and one under Before. Yeah, instead of just having all the events crammed into this room and then having to divide it based on the switch that's active, it would just be easier to split them up into two separate things. So I'm going to do that, but I still need to finish this because basically what happens is the player walks in, gets caught in this, and then because the event's not finished, the game doesn't progress. Right. These three spots here, if I'm not mistaken... Yeah, he's supposed to be here in once uh once the shrine the battle shrine. Once the battle shrine in the forest is done, he's supposed to be waiting for you to give you a message to go meet with the captain. She's here after you rescue after battle shrine, right? Conversation. Um she just is basically standing there saying good luck. Before that, though, yeah, she's not supposed to exist. So I could remove her completely from the before map. And then this one here, return from Battle Shrine. Right, this is when we get all of the... No, no, this is the captain, right? Uh, Welcome back, your majesties. Core Blimey, you weren't kidding me. The name's Tin, and me old man's wanting to bring yous to him. Right, okay, so that's the messenger. That's basically these two squares, these two events. Uh, and then this one is the one that sends you to the Battle Shrine, right? Clear out is on, right? Self-switch A, erase event, right. So that basically takes hold of the player, marches them over to these spots, and we'll get to that when we get there. But that one needs to go under rescue. Right. So I'm going to split this again. Copy. And Hamlet before. And paste. There we go. And then I can basically just get rid of these ones if I want to. Which I do. Uh, does he come in after or before the rescue? Clear out. Okay. After. So I can get rid of him too. But let's focus on this. 
because it needs to get done. How am I going to do this? Visitors, you shouldn't be here. If the soldiers see you, there will be more violence. I want to change that line, though. I want to change that line. There will be more violence. Mm, and you'll be carted off. And they will cart you off, just like my part. Uh, yeah, they'll cart you off. And they will cart you off. Uh, away. I think away is a better word. There we go. And they'll cart you away, just like my poor Marsha. Uh, let's comma that instead of period. But that means that I... Uh, that means I gotta space it. Yeah, okay. Well, whatever. You know, it's not a big deal. There. Okay. So how do I want this conversation to continue? That's the thing. How do I want this conversation to continue? Well, let's um, start with start with Elizabeth, the leader. Of the uh, how about hmm? Well, we'll go with the neutral face until I figure out what the heck I want her to say. Um, we do the N thing. Did I move you to part one or part four? I can't remember. Uh, spot one or spot four? I can't remember what I did. I'll have to look it up. I'll have to look it up real quick. Forgive me. I just need to remind myself. Uh, she is actually number three. Okay. I mean, it's simple enough. I could just write her name in. But um, I like. I want to do it the fancy way. What can I say? All right. I think that's good enough. Um, at least for a first pass. Which, yeah, uh, I think it's good enough. Please calm down. We can help. Tell us what has happened here. Where is everyone? Yeah. All right. So, I mean, it, it basically just says, it's basically just a quick way, one dialogue box to get us, the player, some information. So what is he going to say? Um, yeah. Okay. We'll have him, we'll have him explain what happened to all the people. It'll, it, it'll be a small info dump, but still an info dump. What did I do? People, right? Yeah, the end guy. Okay. Um, innkeeper, I guess? Sure. And then I need you to explain what happened. What am I going to say? I need to move this out of the way. Oh, oh, I need to move that out of the way. There we go. Okay. If the soldiers see you, there will be more violence and they'll cart you away. Please calm down. Tell us what happened here. Where is everyone? The soldiers. I'm, I'm probably just going to play him as a very concerned, very, very high strung individual who doesn't want any trouble. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, that's, uh, that's a good characterization, I think. He's stressed out. He's kind of strung out on uh, having to stay awake and serve these soldiers who don't care at all about him or the building or the people. And he's worried sick about Marsha. Uh, let's see. The soldiers. They came and... Uh, am I going to be able to fit this all in this line? I don't think so. All right, I think I'm going to split this into two separate. Uh, the soldiers, they came and took most everyone away. And then a second dialogue box with him, just so I can fit more in there. That's really the problem with only being able to cram four lines in a text box. Is that uh, if I need five lines of dialogue, I have to make a separate text box. And then i got to split everything up. But eh, it's all right, it's all right, it's all right. Let's see. Um, well, I need to be able to look at this again. They came and took most everyone away. What was I going to say? Before I split it? Uh, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Dragged them. Threw them on the back of a cart, right. Threw them on the back of a cart. 
of a wagon. Sure, we'll say wagon. And and ugh, I'm gonna have to space it. Carted them off to that old outpost out east. To well, I'm not gonna be able to fit that either. Hmm. Put them on the back of a wagon. I don't want to put it. I don't want to make that two separate sentences. Carted them off to that old outpost. I guess I could make that a separate sentence. The one on the east coast. Uh, the one, the one out to the east. How am I gonna put? How am I gonna phrase that? The one. I guess to the east of here. Should I capitalize that? Nah. Put them on the back of a wagon and then carted them off to that old outpost. I think the sentence would just work better if I made it one sentence and said, they threw them on the back of a wagon in the back of a wagon. Yeah, since I'm changing it from cart to wagon. Okay, I think that'll work. They threw them in the back of a wagon, carted them off to that old fort on the east coast. Uh, looking at it, I think I want to add a little more to this. Let me see here. Tell us what happened here. Where is everyone? Uh, it was the soldiers. I think, yeah. It was the blank soldiers. I need, now that I'm here, I think I need to name the military. Uh, I need to name the nation that they're working for. Yeah, I think this is good. It was the rural soldiers. They came and took uh, almost everyone away. They only, okay, yeah, 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 yeah. They only left me, whoops, left me and the shopkeep. Uh, spared. They only spared me and the, yeah, 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 that's Paints a very different picture than left me. There we go. And then he'll say, they threw them in the back of a wagon. They threw them? I have to change it now because the subject of the first dialogue box changed. They threw everyone in the back of a wagon. Yeah. They threw everyone in the back of a wagon and carted them off to that old fort on the East Coast. Okay. Good, 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 good. Apply. That's good. So what's next? How about... Oh, you know what? I, I know. I know. No, 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 no. Not... Go back. Show text. Jim. Where are you? Uh, <laughs> sure. <laughs> we'll do... We'll do the crying face. I don't get to use that often enough. Uh, what were you? Four? I think Solomon was four. I think it went Gilgamesh, Joan. Yeah. <laughs> sure. Okay. I like that. <laughs> it's kind of stupid, but I like it. Um, and we'll have Gilgamesh. Sure. <laughs> his, his sad face is barely recognizable. Um... Let's do this, and then what is he going to say? Okay, I think that'll work. Uh, Yogamesh chimes in with a little bit of self-experience, uh, perhaps? Maybe. Anyways, uh, why would they do such a thing? Keeps the remaining civilians in line. Uh, and just to move things along, I, I want to have more dialogue in place, but, uh, I also don't want to drag out every conversation that we have. Um, one of the things that I liked about RPGs was the story, but at the same time, some of the old ones can be a bit long-winded when you're sitting there mashing A to get through the dialogue boxes. So, let's cut to the chase. I 
think I'm going to stay with Path. There needs to be another dialogue box. I just realized I, later on in the game, I'm going to have, uh, I'm going to have the four people, uh, the player characters, confronted with, uh, a bunch of normal humans, um, allies, I guess you could say, uh, potential allies, ask them to help win the war against the military that's marching across the globe. Um, they'll refuse, or the player characters will refuse, uh, but it's uh, not because they're bad guys, it's because they have a very specific mission that they came back from the dead for uh i'm gonna have to i don't want to have to cut this up any further i might just have to do two dialogue boxes must go to this outpost and rescue the people from their imprisonment from their torture from their captivity here we go uh so the player characters will have to refuse them because they have a very specific mission which is defeat the last boss of the game um they're not here to get involved with mortal politics uh so them going to just rescue a bunch of people that are trapped in this outpost really goes against that later uh, dialogue, that later explanation, whatever, the later reason I have for doing that. Um, unless one of the people captured is somebody they need to help complete their mission, um, which is where that next dialogue box comes in. Um, so when I said... When I said I have to cut to the chase, I uh, <clears throat> I really am not going to be able to do that. I'm going to have to get there. Whoops, that's not you. Uh, this one. Right. I'm going to have to go just a little bit longer with this conversation. Uh, but how am I going to get there? Let me see here. Why would they do such a thing? Blah, 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 blah. Keeps the remaining civilians in line. Solomon will say something like, we need to talk to... I'm probably going to have to have another conversation, another dialogue box with the innkeeper. Solomon will say, we need to talk to somebody about getting into the shrine. He'll say, she was take one of the people taken, and then Elizabeth will say, then our path is clear. We must go to this outpost and rescue the people, actually one very important person, from their captivity. I mean, you can do two things at once, but... The reason they're going there is to rescue one very important person. So I'm going to need another dialogue box on top of that, I think. Uh, where were you? People one? Yes. Okay. Okay. Right. So that's going to have to happen. All right. Um, I could have... After this conversation, right, and we're not even done with at this, because then the innkeeper goes, oh, bless you, thank you, thank you. Um, right. He'll, he'll be very happy that they're willing to go and rescue his Marsha. All right. But then I need to get from there to deleting this event and allowing people to rest for the night okay so after this conversation's done after this whole event is done we'll do self switch a on and then there great uh cut Common event, apply. I need, what am I? Let's do text. 
Let's do text. Uh, otherwise, it's just some random thing pops up and lets you stay the night. Um, innkeeper asks you. Um, actually, maybe he won't charge this first part until after the rescue. Uh, do you need to rest? Sure. And then we'll do... Actually, you know what? I'm going to change that. I'm going to change that. Um, uh, because before the rescue, um, we'll just assume if you're coming in here to talk to him, th the in-stop common event will ask you if you want to rest. Okay. Yeah, that works. All right. Quickly now before you're spotted, and then the in-stop will say, do you want to rest? You can choose yes or no. Okay. Good. Great. I finished that. I mean, I didn't really finish that, but now the event actually has an end. So we can walk back and forth on top of this without worry. I am also going to get rid of these so that we don't walk on top of them and trigger them. Actually, I don't think we can until we get the crystal restored. Right. So that, that one won't trigger. And this one won't trigger until the crystals are stored. Okay. I should still delete them, though. Um, they're not necessary for the before. They're not necessary for this point. Um, however, however, I do need to change this. Yes, edit. Because now we have two versions of this. And I don't want them coming out here to this one. I want them coming out here to this one. Right. Okay. And going inside the building, I want them to go open movement route, transfer it this way. I want them to go to this version. There we go. All right. Which means I also have to change this one up here. Which is... Not that big a deal. Change this, edit. Change this, edit. To rescue, it's already there, good. And change this one, edit. To, nope, ah, edit. It's already there, all right, fantastic. Good job, good job, good job game. All right, good. Well, I'm going to end it here because I've got some cleaning up to do, and we'll pick this up again next time. Thank you, everyone, for joining me. Until next episode, stay safe, and God bless you.